So, uh, good morning, uh, media representatives. Um, as you know, in this uh, Eurogroup, one of the uh, most important topics is uh, situation in uh, Greece, uh, negotiations with Greece. Uh, so far, it must, it must be said that progress in technical negotiations has not been sufficient to reach any uh, conclusions uh, during this uh, Eurogroup meeting here in Riga. So, technical talks will help to uh, continue. From European Commission's point of view, we uh, think that it's by far the best option to uh, successfully conclude the current program. But for this, it's important that all sides stick with their commitments, including uh, Greece. So now it's very important that Greece is accelerating the work uh, on the reform list and uh, also starts working on implementation on the program uh, conditionality. From uh, other topics in today's uh, Eurogroup, I would like to note that we will also be discussing Euro area report, uh, where we'll be uh, concentrating on issues what needs to be done to uh, deal with the adjustment which is needed now in private and public sectors, how in medium term to grow, uh, increase uh, Euro area's growth potential, and how in longer term to complete the EMU uh, architecture which is, uh, uh, I think, a very important topic also in today's uh, agenda. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, last year I was once in more or less the same situation as Greece is now. Uh, should Greece follow the same way as Latvia did? Uh, well, it's uh, important to note that Latvia uh, did its adjustment in a front-loaded way. So we did bulk of the adjustment already during the crisis, uh, already in uh, 2009, uh, which allowed us very quickly to regain financial stability. And with financial stability, we were able to return to the economic uh, growth. And uh, quite soon, we were among the fastest growing EU economies. Whereas what we had seen in Greece, uh, there were attempts to delay the adjustment. But with delaying the adjustment, uh, there was also delay of economic recovery. So basically, uh, Greece was just getting uh, deeper into recession. And at, at the end of the day, making adjustment needs bigger, not smaller. But even then, uh, it's worth noting that at the end of the year, uh, Greece economy was turning uh, around. Greece was back to the economic growth. There was quite robust job creation. Greece was delivering on its fiscal targets and has restored financial stability. So, and just when the economy was turning around, now with this financial instability and certainty, uh, it's also now undermining growth uh, prospects for Greece. But then uh, it's worth noting that fundamentals for quick recovery in Greece are there, which means if there is a political will to quickly conclude the negotiations on a bailout program to restore the financial stability, there are all the preconditions for Greek economy to grow again and to actually get over this crisis. Thank you. Is that an example for Greece? Well, uh, there are no uh, mechanical uh, examples. Uh, each country has its uh, uh, unique situation, its uh, specifics. So I was just making this uh, uh, comparison of what I think was a key difference, front-loaded adjustment versus uh, delaying the adjustment. Thank you. Thank you.